Michael Balak's son dead, Emilio Balak dies aged 18 after quad crash. The accident is said to have happened around 2 a.m., where firefighters were called to the scene. Firefighters who were among the emergency services sent to the scene were unable to confirm the dead man was Michael Balak's son. But they revealed the tragedy happened when the quad fell on top of the victim and crushed him on land at the estate where he was staying. An officer based at Grand Ole near Troya said, I know the dead man was the sons of a well-known footballer but I don't have details about who it was. The accident happened at the family home. The quad rider wasn't on a public road and his was the only vehicle involved. The quad was on an uneven piece of land and at this stage it appears to have gone backwards and as it did fell on top of the victim and crushed him. Efforts to revive the youngster at the scene were unsuccessful and he was declared dead at the spot where the accident occurred. GNR police based in Troya and paramedics were also mobilized. Trained counselors are said to be helping the dead man's family who according to one of the emergency responders were in the house at the time. The teenager's body has been taken to the Institute of Forensic Medicine in the city of Santiago de Casem south of the scene of the accident for a post-mortem. Reports in Portugal state the tragic incident occurred on a plot of land near a house Michael Balak bought several years ago. The vehicle Emilio was riding on at the time is said to have been designed for the public road. Emilio was one of Balak's three children the former German footballer shares with ex-wife Simone Lamb. He was born in 2002, a year after Balak's eldest son, Louis, and three years before his youngest, Jordi. The 18-year-old recently posted pictures on social media of his time in Portugal, sharing photos of his time with family. And there has been an outpouring of support on social media following the news of Emilio's death.